In the garden of the Declaration. At the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 1 gives good name, year, and earth. All this is where we end. It would be now to require the first permission. It's God's way of bringing back and his love and rule the humanity and the living for fellowship with himself. So, Chris, what about some first mission? First mission, Lord. The first missionary activity took place in the Garden of Eden. That event was God's personal mission to Adam and Eve. When Adam and Eve sinned by disobeying God, they try, tried to escape from God's presence and hiding. But God went on a mission to find them. He located them and confronted them with their sin. Then he pronounced judgment upon Adam and Eve for their sin. This judgment was would affect uh, uh, affect the descendants of Adam and Eve, the entire human race. Thus, at the very beginning of human history, God announced the universality of His plan for humanity. He demonstrated the nature of his plan by pursuing the first human being for the purpose of redemption. So, yan, a purpose na pagidaw sa atin is redemption. Kaya, nang ginawa ni Adan at Sakan Eve, na nag-cover siya ng kanilang mga katawan sa dahon, ng dahon, and they hide themselves. Ayat ng tago sila dahil they started to be conscious that they have done something wrong. So yung sense of guilt, pumasok na sa human consciousness and then, ano ginawa ng Diyos? Kung sila nagsagot, ano, nagkasaranan sila sa, 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 sa ano? Hinanap sila ni Panginoon. O tama, nagkasaranan sila, hinanap, nagtago na sila dahil nagkabar na sila ng dahon. Nagkabar na sila ng consciousness, hinanap sila ng Diyos. So that was the first missionary activity na nangyari sa Bible. So mission is about finding the lost. So Adam and Eve, the first creation of God, hide themselves. Kumbaga, they, they were lost. So, and God took the initiative to go around and to look for them so that those who were lost may be found. So yun ang nangyari sa Genesis. Narinarap sila na dahil sila ay nagkakala. So ganun din sa atin ngayon na bilang sinari ay kahanapin na dito mga tao na nagkakala para ilapit ang subay na dito sa atin. So yan ang God took the incentive to go around and look for them so that those who were lost may be found. So mission started with God. Simply, pagdating mo sa New Testament, sent only to be God in San. Sa New Testament naman, ang una-una doon ay ang pag panakay pa ng Christo sa New Testament. Yun, sa Old Testament ay ang pagpahala ni Adan ng Eve, 
sa duha na tayo post to tower of babel naman was humanity's refusal to go and replenish the whole earth ibig sabihin kasi humayo kayo yung pangako niyo nang humayo kayo para sa ipagturo niyo ang magandang balita sa mga tao para sa America yung plano ng Panginoon sa mga tao noon So, yung tawin ni Rebel ay doon na sila ay nagpusigil sila doon huwag ka kayo ng tawin ni Rebel So, but the target of oh, Babel signifies humanities and willingness to sit out to their comfort soon Kapag ayos na yung kalagay natin sa church ang tendency ng simbahan to grow to, to grow and to bless its everyone So, nabless, nabless na tayo, kaya tayo sa church lagi, kaya lagi natin sinasabi, oh, bless, nabless ako kay pastor. Bless, nabless ako sa church natin dahil magandang kanta, magandang praise, magandang turo, magandang praise and worship song. So, dahil nagkakaroon ng kristyano ng Diyos, kanilang satisfaction sa kanilang fellowship, but the problem is, may problema pa rin. The fellowship is it means to strengthen and encourage just to enrich us to go into mission. Hindi lang na success ng tayo ng dyan ng tayo sa Los Angeles, pag makinig na tayo ng sermon, okay na, uwi na tayo. Pag mali pala yun, doon na, dito natin malalaman na nangyari ang uh, nawili tayo sa fellowship natin, na nakalimutan na natin that there are lost people waiting that you are told to tell the good news to them yung mga tao sa kalibid natin. So God confused the languages in the Tower of Babel so that they will see to understand one another and then they will force to spread out. Yun pa lang dahilan noon na bakit nagkaroon sila ng anit kakaunawaan sa kanilang mga languages. Dahil ang plano pala ng Panginoon na ang intensyon niya is to creating a fellowship Uh, to spread out the good news with the other people. Magkaroon sila ng uh, maghayo sila, humayo sila at mag uh, na spread ng salita ng Panginoon. Yan ang uh, na original intention niya is to creating his fellowship with, with him and then fill the earth. Spread out and replenish the earth. Na gusto ng Panginoon na siya isang bahindang siya ay uh, ating sasambahin, replenish the earth. So, later sa pagdating kay Abraham, for you to be a blessing for all the nations. Ang mga sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, sabi niya kay Abraham, for you to be a blessing for all the nations. But again, ang nangyari sa Israel, after kay Abraham, yung Israel nag-nationalized mission. Ang sila sila lang. Alam niyo yun. Alam So, ang, ang parang kinuralan nila, yung parang ginawa nila ng bakod, yung pag-misyon dahil sa